Good morning, class friends. Welcome all of you in this Maharaj day. Trinomatry, I am going to revise. I have already completed this chapter, but due to some specific reason, we have to revise this chapter. In previous days, we have explained trigonometric ratios. And uh, you know very well, we have limited ourselves between theta and 90 degrees. More than 90 degrees, you will learn in class 11. But now, you see some specific angles, 0 degree, 30 degree, 90 degree, 60, how will you find the risk? For this, first I explain 445. How will you find the value of 45 degree for all the trigonometry ratio? One is, you have to learn the table, but we should concentrate on the process by which we can find ourselves the value of all trigonometry ratio for 45 degree. 30 degrees, 16, 0, 90, like that. 45, right? ABC, right angle. Angle B is right angle. And angle C is 45. If angle C is 45, so angle A will be also 45. Any question? Because the sum of all these three angles should be 180. One is 90, so it is very clear. The sum of other two will be 90. This is 45, so this will be automatically 45. And if two angles are equal, the side opposite to them are equal. Therefore, AD is equal to BC. Now, suppose side A, AD is A. Suppose this is A. So this will be A. By using Pythagoras theorem, this will be under root 2A. Pythagoras theorem, we can see. Now, we know all the three sides. For this 45 or this 45, so there will be no difference. Sign 45 degree, E by H, this by this. How much? 1 by root 2. And if you consider this angle, so the same result will be because E by H. So sign 45, 1 by root under root 2. Call 45, B by H, also 1 by root 2. Tan 45, T by B, A by E. A is equal to 1 and uh, other three ratios you know very well, they are opposite of cosine opposite of sine, sec opposite of cos and cot opposite of put, yeah, that. So my dear, this is the method by which you can find the value of 45 degrees for all the trigonometric ratios. Now we see for 30 and 60 degrees. I suppose you must have understood, very simple, although you, we should try to learn. So for 30 and 60, we consider, suppose this is equal equal triangle. Now question if arises in your mind, why we have considered uh, equal triangle then? Because in equal triangle, each angle is 60 degrees. And we draw a perpendicular. Now you see, the perpendicular in a equilateral triangle bisects the base. So suppose this is 2A, which we must have seen, A we must have seen, but in simplification this will be easier. Although if you suppose A, so this will be A by 2. If suppose this is 2A, this is 2A, this is also 2A. So this will be half A and this will be A. Both triangles are congruent because if you see, this is called to base, this is column, these two angles perpendicular, B, 90 degrees, they are equal. So by all this channel, they are congruent, corresponding angles will be equal. So this angle was 60 degrees, and this is also 60, and this is uh, divided, equal angles means this angle will be 3, 30 degrees and 30 degrees. Many can say, you must have understood whatever we have done. So ABC equilateral triangle, 
we have drawn 80 perpendicular on BC. Now each angle is 60 degree in equilateral triangle. And now suppose this is 2A, this is 2A, and this is also 2A. If you prove these two congruence, so by corresponding side typicity, BD is equal to this. Or simply you should know, if we perpendicular drawn on a base of equilateral triangle, it divides the base into two equal parts. So this is 2A, so this will be A. If this is, this is A, so this will be A by Q. So these two triangles are congruent. And now you consider in any triangle. Suppose in triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, you find the altitude AB by using Pythagoras theorem, either in this triangle or in this triangle. So this will be H square, that means 2A whole square and minus a s square, this will be 4 a s square minus a s square under root 3 a s square this means, this means we will get under root 3 a so this is under root 3 a so nothing needs to be worried uh, uh, for these two triangles because both are congruent so if you consider this or this the result a b will be root 3a. Now we know all the three sides. a, 2a and 3. For suppose 30 degree. Suppose this will be sine 30 degree. Sine is equal to p by a. Of this angle this will be p. This will be this will be so this will be a by 2a is equal to 1 by 2. Cos 30 degree. b by h. For this angle this will be b. So root 3a upon 2a. So a comes to root 3 by 2. And if you compare this value from the table, you will be you will find these values in the table. So although you have to learn the table because in some question you have to you have very less time to solve and therefore but this is the derivation, this is the method by which you can find. Tan 30 degree, so for this angle P by B, so this will be A by root 3 A. A can be root 1 by root 3. Another 3 will, you can find very easy. Cos 30, 2 by 1. Sec 30, 2 by root 3. So no need to find those 3 ratios. So this is the method. And now come for 60 degree. So sin 60 degree, how will you find? Sin 60 for this angle, so this will be P and this will be H, H will be same. So this will be root 3A upon 2A. This will be cancel, root 3 by 2. And similarly cos 60, cos 60 for this angle this will be B. So A by 2A and this will be 1 by 2. And sin 60. Tan 60, you know, for this angle P by B, so root 3A by A, A cancel, this will be root 3. And other 3 ratios, you know very well, the opposite of sine, cos A, sec is opposite of cos, and cos is opposite of sec. So this is the method by which we can find the values of 30, 60, and 45 degrees. But now you consider for 0 degree and 90 degree. You will see very carefully because although there is a something to understand, suppose this is the right angle. Now ABC right angle and this angle is suppose theta. Suppose we can suppose the line theta theta is equal to 0 degree. So, this 0 degree hoga is ka matlab kya hoga? A will be or B and AC will be equal to BC and this AB will be 0. Begin, ye kam hoge jayega, kam hoge jayega. So, AC will be on BC if, in theory, if we suppose this is 0 degree, so sin 0 ka yehi hain nikaal hai nahi hu, so sin 0 degree, sin is equal to P by A. So for this angle, this will be AB, AB by AC, and AB is 0, 
because this is we have suppose zero degree. So a point will coincide over b, and so a b will be zero. So zero for anything a c or a b b c whatever, so you will get zero. Cos zero degree. Now you see for this cos b by h, b by h. So b c. So b c is b c by a c. And since this is zero degree, and you can imagine a c will be equal to b c. That is b c by b c or a c by a c, whatever. So equal by equal is equal to one. Now you see tan zero degree. Tan zero degree. So tan is equal to p by b. So this will be zero. This will be zero. A zero by b c. This means zero by anything. You know very well. And now cosec, cosec is equal. This is cosec zero degree. Let's make a line. Cosec zero degree h by p. So h हो गया कौन सा h या b c और ये हो गया zero. This means zero means zero by one. And if you reverse that, will be one by zero. And this will be infinite. इसको समझना चाहिए. We don't know the value of that uh, fraction which uh, the remainder is zero, and therefore this will be zero. Cot zero degree. Cot zero degree. Cot is equal to b by p. So for this, this is b, this is b, and this is p. Yani b c by zero. So this is zero. So this is also infinite. So इस तरह से हम मान सकते हैं. Why say this is not important uh, for uh, derivation? The important is 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree. So we will try to solve the question. And uh, one question I would like to solve. And uh, some there is a technique to learn the table. But uh, today I cannot. Tomorrow I will try to give you the the technique to learn the. To learn the formula, to learn the table by which you can uh, you can learn. Otherwise, I have explained. Now you see, I solve one question, eight point two, eight point two percent of our environment sine sixty degree, sine sixty degree, cos thirty degree, plus sine thirty degree, and uh, cos sixty degree. Evaluate means if you have to evaluate for some specific angle, zero, thirty, forty-five, sixty, or ninety, so it is understood. We have to give the values of these degrees for given trigonometric ratios, and then you have to simplify. Now the sine sixty, you have just uh, calculated sine sixty is equal to root three by two. Cos thirty is equal to root three by two. Now I know you will see from the table now, but we should remember because in the examination, no table will be provided if this question is in the examination, and therefore it is very necessary to learn. So sine thirty one by two and cos thirty sixty one by two. Now we have put the values of these uh, these uh, trigonometric ratios for sixty degree and thirty degree. Now you simplify three by four plus one by four. Now no need to solve other than one. This is the answer. So similarly, and uh, <clears throat> so in this exercise you have to evaluate. And evaluating means you have to find the you have to give the value of thirty, forty-five, sixty, or ninety or zero. And for uh, given trigonometric ratios, so. You put the values and simplify. You will get the results. So that's all for today. And presently, you will try to solve. And otherwise, I am ready to solve your doubts. So that's all for today. And next day, we will see what will be done in the class. And therefore, thank you. And have a nice day.